Welcome to DEF CON 3. I'm KT McFarland. The fight against ISIS is raging in Iraq as Iraqi and Kurdish forces try to push back the terrorist group. Though there is some concern here in the U.S. over their strategy. The Pentagon said on Wednesday they are not confident Iraq could secure one of the country's largest oil refineries in the ongoing battle with the militants. Well, here with perspective is Dr. Najmaldin Karim. He's the governor of Kirkuk province in Iraq, in northern Iraq. Um, thank you very much for joining us, Governor. Let me ask you, what is the current status? Is the Iraqi military or the Peshmerga going to be able to keep the largest oil refinery in the country? Uh, well, this uh, Beji refinery, which is the biggest refinery in Iraq, uh, is very important to us because it uh, used to get uh, the crude oil from Kirkuk, from the Kirkuk fields. Uh, but this has uh, stopped basically since uh, uh, June 8 of last year. Mm -hmm. uh, and from the beginning, uh, only a small force of the Iraqi army was able to remain in the refinery. But the uh, surroundings and part of the refinery itself uh, were uh, controlled by uh, uh, ISIS forces. Uh, and since then, there has been uh, repeated uh, attempts uh, by different Iraqi government forces uh, to regain total control uh, of the refinery and clear the surroundings. Uh, even in, in, in the best conditions, they were only able to uh, control the inside the uh, perimeters of the refinery, but they couldn't control the outside. So the refinery really has been uh, non-working non, uh, uh, and not operating mm -hmm. since uh, June of last year. Uh, and yes, uh, the attempts have not been successful uh, in clearing the city of Beji itself and also uh, the refinery. And that's really a disappointment because uh, many times dec declarations were made that the refinery is safe and secure mm -hmm. and it has been uh, cleared of all uh, uh, ISIS terrorist forces. But uh, unfortunately, that has not been the case. You know, it, from the perspective of, of seeing, you know, Fallujah fell in 2014. Ramadi is now a contested city, as you pointed out. This oil refinery is contested. It does not look, from the United States' perspective, like the Iraqi military is retaking the initiative, is, is putting ISIS on the run. In fact, it looks like just the opposite. From your perspective in northern Iraq, how are you seeing this fight? Uh, well, this fight, uh, I mean, we all know that uh, the Iraqi army, the Iraqi military has significant problems uh, with numbers, with training, with weapons. Uh, and several divisions of Iraqi army disappeared overnight when ISIS mm -hmm. first came to, uh, to Mosul and other parts uh, in Iraq uh, back in June of last year. Uh, really, the two uh, active uh, uh, forces in Iraq today uh, are the Shia mobilization units uh, and also uh, the Peshmerga. Uh, and obviously, the United States has some issues with the Shia mobilization units. Uh, which is also contributing to uh, impeding some of the successes that could have happened otherwise. Mm -hmm. uh, and that is because of uh, objections from the locals in those areas who are uh, almost all Sunni Arabs uh, and concerned about what happens afterwards. Uh, but also uh, with the Peshmerga, uh, uh, there are needs for uh, better training, uh, more uh, uh, heavy armor and uh, arms to the Peshmergas. Uh, those are truly the only two, uh, you know, two uh, military forces today they can uh, fight ISIS. And that happened in, the, in Kurdistan, uh, in Kirkuk, uh, with regard to the Peshmerga. It happened with the uh, Shia mobilization units in Diyala province, in defending Baghdad, in defending Samarra. But uh, it looks like it has basically stopped there and uh, there's some sort of a stalemate. Even when a place is taken back, you see ISIS forces coming back right. and attacking, either regaining it or inflicting heavy casualties uh, upon the, uh, you know, the, uh, the Iraqi forces. You know, the, the, we've all read that the Peshmerga are the, the, you know, the bravest fighters in the entire region. They're the only ones who are standing. They have a women's brigade that's fighting ISIS. And yet it looks like the United States is not adequately giving the Peshmerga what it needs to fight. Can you explain to us what's going on? Uh, I think uh, the United States uh, uh, has provided the airstrikes. The airstrikes have been really uh, the catalyst and effective together with the Peshmerga forces in repelling Daesh attacks. And in case of Kirkuk, 
we have actually gained even more ground uh, since uh, uh, ISIS came to our region in June of 2006. Uh, as far as uh, uh, other forces, for example, in Syria, in the battle of Kub for Kobani, uh, the YPG and their women uh, forces, mm -hmm. uh, you know, uh, so, you know, stage a heroic defense of the place uh, with many, many casualties, but they still uh, were able to hold the city. And of course, again, uh, the airstrikes help, but these airstrikes really, really needs to be more intense, uh, more frequent and less uh, uh, routine in hitting a target uh, when it's decided that it's an important target. Let, Governor, let me ask you one quick question. For generations, for decades, um, the Kurdish people have looked for their own homeland, their own Kurdish nation. Do you think the end result of this could be a, a separate Kurdistan, separate from Iraq, separate from Syria, separate from Iran? What do you think? Uh, well, I can uh, speak uh, mainly of uh, uh, Iraq and Syria. In Syria, you have uh, uh, the Kurds controlling uh, uh, most of the areas inhabited by the Kurds. Uh, in, uh, uh, in Iraq, you have the Kurdistan region, and then you have some disputed territories. Uh, the Kurds uh, uh, number in uh, millions, close to 40 million in, in the Middle East, uh, the only people without a state of their own. Uh, the Kurds have chosen... Uh, to stay in truly federal Iraq uh, when the parliament voted in Kurdistan in 1992 uh, to exercise the right of self-determination in the form of uh, staying in Iraq, a federal Iraq, uh, delegating authorities to the region. Uh, but unfortunately, there has been significant uh, uh, issues, significant problems, uh, not just with the Kurds, with other uh, communities in Iraq. So uh, for Iraq to stay together, the only way is to allow regions to be formed. Kurdistan has its own region. The Sunnis now want a region. They were against it after 2003. Uh, and I think that's the only way you can keep the country together. Otherwise, I think the country will fall apart. Uh, we are hoping that we don't get into all-out civil war like uh, we saw uh, happening in Somalia, uh, like we saw happening in uh, uh, former uh, Yugoslavia. Mm -hmm. uh, I think the best thing will be uh, to allow the regions to exercise their rights, to defend themselves, to develop their economy. Uh, I think that's the only way to keep the country together. Otherwise, I think uh, it will be very difficult to have something called Iraq as we know it today. Mm -hmm. Well, we wish you every success in your battle against ISIS. Uh, thank you so much for joining us, Dr. Governor Najmaldin Karim. Uh, check out foxnews.com for the latest on the fight against ISIS. And I'm KT McFarland. Thanks for watching.